Hi, I'm Elena Smith. I'm from Belgium. I'm 22 years old. Uh, I started gymnastics when I was six, and I quit after World Championship when I was six. So, uh, hello, I'm Almog. I'm from Israel, from uh, Maccabi Dance. I'm in a senior women's pair, and I'm the triple European champion in 2019. Hi, I'm Sienna. I'm almost 11 years old. I train in Gymfinity. And, yeah. <laughs> and you were selected for the world. <laughs> when you competed, your last competitive routine was it Worlds? Um, did you know that it was your last routine ahead of it? And how did it affect your period before and the few moments before the routine? Um, so our last one was at Worlds. I knew that it was our last competition because after the Europeans in 2013 in October, we decided it would be our last one at the Worlds. Um, so the trainings before, like all year long we really had the feeling like come on we need to work hard so it's it's our last one to finish high um and the competition itself it was um quite stressful because we wanted to do it good and not end with a bad competition um but i was stressed for balance and dynamic, but for the combined and the finals, I was quite on my, uh, yeah, I was quite feeling good and it was really weird, but yeah. <laughs> Why did you stop with acro? Um, because there are a lot of reasons. Um, first of all, I was already 16 years old and I was growing. Um, so it was quite hard to hold my weight on the same level. And if I would grow more, it would be hard for Nikki as well to throw me. Mm -hmm. And for school reasons as well, because I was going to the last years of high school and I wanted to do that in just a regular school. So I wouldn't have problems when I would go to uni or college. So what was the most difficult element that you've done in trainings? Because sometimes um, teams yeah. prepare very difficult elements that we don't really get to see. So it's really interesting to know. Yeah. Do you want to know it for balance or dynamic or both? Both. Okay, um, dynamic, I think the hardest one was um, handstand, handstand, the foot bed, and then the twist till catch, and then the full in back out with, uh, with what? Yeah, it's, <laughs> I will show you. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a like this, but like this. With a bike. And for balance, we did a lot of hard ones, like the Chinese roll. We did it uh, like this in Mexican, but we mm -hmm. were trying to do it in one hand, but it was too hard. Uh, we also did like the standing and then her, her going up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we did a lot of transitions as well. So, yeah, balance was more our thing than dynamic, I can say, to try new things. Yeah, and uh, you, Alma? For me, what, what are the hardest ones? Well, there are some that I can't really say right now because we want to put them on the floor, but I th one that we published was from in dynamic from handstand in here to handstand in here yeah. alone. And uh, in balance, we have a few that we can't really share, but um, I think one that we shared was the one arm flag um, going down in 30, 60 mm -hmm. while transforming to one handstand. 
That's, that's a really nice one. <laughs> Thank you. And that's the goal for the competition? It Maybe. depends. <laughs> okay. And uh, you, Siena, what's the hardest element that you're... Uh, um, yeah. um, I think handstands, handstands. Yeah, so handstand on the floor up here. Courbets. Yeah. Salto to back. I didn't write it down. Here, salto to cat. Uh, yeah. And in uh, balance, what would you love to do on competition that's your training now? Yeah, I don't know if you might question. Um, uh, you that? Flap out? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, uh, Eileen, can you see what's going on? It's uh, from stand and then going up till handstand, just... It's Ishka. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you say it that way. How do you say it? Patishka. Patishka. Oh, no, you will say Patishka. No. <laughs> yeah, but I think the goal of Sena is to have a one arm uh, handstand in the balance routine. They are working on it. It's nice, yeah. <laughs>
here while still going up in the school. Were you tired of training something? Okay. Sometimes. Tired. Um, of course, I was tired, like <laughs> every week, I think. <laughs> um, we trained a lot, and sometimes your body is not um, ready for all these hours. Mm -hmm. So it's normal to get tired sometimes, even after an exercise, like you're dead. Like, oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Like your muscles are not ready to take it all. Yeah. So, yeah, I was tired sometimes. <laughs> Did you have any injuries, like really bad ones, or? Um, I had one, but it was before I went to the Belgian Federation. I broke my arm, but it was my right one, so the one I was doing all the one hands on. So I was um, quite happy that I didn't have any problems with it afterwards. Yes. Well, try to stay positive. Also, with the coronavirus, don't let it push you back. Try to train hard and get to the competitions you want to go to. And maybe we will see you there.